Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you the new formatting features which were introduced in the latest version and also how you can now navigate folders in your command bar and use folders also in your wiki links. So these new formatting features or new formatting options are now added to all the themes in NoPlan. So here I'm using the Apple Dark theme for example and depends which theme you are using they have slightly different colors. The new formatting options such as highlighting, underline or strike through and flagging. And um, also I will show you how you can type them, what you can use them for and how you can also find them in the user interface. So let's start with uh, the simple ones like highlighting strike through and underline. So here I have a bullet point, highlighted point, for example, and I can type it, uh, the highlighting, uh, just by typing equal equal before the word, or words, and afterwards. And then I get, and this word now gets a rounded background color. So this is also new that the background is rounded. Previously this was only available in custom themes and it wasn't rounded. So now we have both in all the themes so this is how you create a highlighted word if you want to um, put attention on a specific word in a sentence or in a task. And now let's uh, see how underline works. Underline uh, you can write with a tilde and then underlined and then you close it, point. And similar strike through, just two tildes, strike through, oops, point. Then we have underlined in yellow and strike through. And you can see if you click into the word, you can see also the, uh, the, the characters I've used to mark the word as highlighted, underlined or uh, strike uh, or strike through. And you can delete it also from here if you want to delete this format. This is the fast way. So you don't need to use any uh, menus and buttons and so on. But if you forget how to type all this, just click on the formatting button here at the top and this one is also available on iOS in the toolbox. So you click on this and you get different formatting options and now let me open the calendar so you can see the rest of it. And here on the right side you can also see how to type all these formats. So you already know task, checklist and so on and highlight, strike through, underline are here uh, in the middle somewhere and you can click on the word open this menu and then hit highlight for example. If you forget how to type it or if you don't want to type it, you can always use this menu. On purpose, we have no formatting toolbar in this, uh, in no plan, so you, it's easier to type and don't have any floating toolbars um, in your way when you're typing out something. So these are the three new formatting options, but there's more. You can now also mark tasks as uh, important, very important, or very, very important. So let's create a task just by typing asterisk space. And then here we have a um, slightly, slightly important task. And to make this important, you can add at the beginning an exclamation mark and space. And then you see the task becomes uh, has a red background and this also works if you um, wrap around at the end of it and you see the background uh, is behind the complete text and also the task icon here. So let's make a very important task. You use two exc exclamation marks and then space and you see it's a bit has a bit of a darker or in this case lighter red and a very very important task. We use three and this is the limit and you can quickly see which tasks in your complete list are very important or slightly important and can focus on them. And uh, let's have a look how this looks like in a light mode theme. For example the default one so of course it's also red but has a slightly different red tone also this is green and not purple and these as I said are added to all the themes now you can see the theme view also has been updated so you can see how the highlighting looks like and text also got a background this is uh, and this is uh, So they got also a round background 
behind the t actual tag. Oh. This is how it looks like in Dracula. So all the colors have been tweaked, so they look more or less okay, I hope. And uh, there's a third one which is not available in the formatting options, and this stands for working on right now. And you do you can add the style using uh, the greater than greater than sign and then space, and then you um, simply write the task. This is the task I work on now. So these all these styles are shipped in all the themes, but you can of course customize the themes, uh, like many did already, and uh, extend it further to have more of these kinds of um, status colors if you want to. We have an article on this. Also we have an article on what ch what has changed if you already has have a um, custom theme. So this is how you can use this, these different styles. Also if you are um, in a different node and you want to use references such as do this today. It's not actually today but let's link it to this node and then make it very important. Let's jump back to our node. Th we see also the background and the colors are also represented inside the references. Let's add a heading to this, Let's add marketing or something. And we can also add highlighting to the headings, which appears also here in the references. So this was highlighting. Let's get to the next new feature, which is available in this update. You can uh, search folders also in your command bar. So command J, you open the command bar. And now I search for project or projects. And you see folders appear now in this view. And you can navigate through using the mouse or using the keyboard arrow keys. Like I can open projects and I can see uh, the files and, co and further folders inside this subfolders inside this main folder. I can open it. I can also go back and go back and open any node as before. So this is new. So you can navigate through it without if you don't want to search for a node or you can also wiki link to the folders. So let's say uh, we want the web version, but we take the folder and you can see uh, this is a folder because it has a folder icon. Also, um, the we have now icons. If the node is inside the archive, then you see an archive icon, and the same with templates. You see a template icon if you if the result points to a template. But let's point to the uh, to this folder, projects web version. You see it starts with double slash, and now if you click on this, it will simply open the folder in the sidebar and uh, mark it for you. And if you decide to experiment with themes and create your custom theme, I will link a video by Stacy. It's a user who has extended her theme quite a lot and it looks really nice. I will link it in the description so you get some inspiration. And before we finish this video, I want to show you briefly how you can start customizing your themes and where you need to look for the details of uh, what you can change and how you can change it. In Stacy's video, you can see a couple of examples of how it could look like. So let's open the preferences and navigate to themes. And then you can select one of the themes you want to base off your custom theme. For example, you can base it off the default theme, which is orange. And if you hover over any theme, you see a button copy and customize. So click on this and it will open the themes folder and finder for you. And here, you see as it has created a new theme dot json. json is basically a text uh, format which you can edit uh, in any code editor or even in text edit. You don't need a specific app for this. Let's open it in text edit. And this is how it looks like basically. It's just text and in this text it defines the colors for all types of text, for example, title one, two, three in this case. Here you can also see immediately the working on and then the flagged one, two, three with which you can mark tasks, uh, the importance of tasks. And here you can um, read background color and color. And these are hexadecimal colors, which you can um, create on any website for uh, colors, for example, or in any graphics application. And then you copy the colors here as a text and you save it. 
and I recommend to change the name here. For example, orange changed. You save it, close this and reopen the themes. And now you can see here orange changed. You can select it and see how it looks like. So this is the uh, basic intro in customizing themes, but we also have a help page for this. So you can click on how to create custom themes here at the top right and it will open the browser. And this is our help page or knowledge base. It's basically help.noplan.co. And here you can also type custom and you see already here is customized themes. And this introduces you into how you can customize themes in general and explains all the values you find in this text file. And what is a JSON file and um, the different colors here. Also the new attributes which were introduced in this version are those ones which are commented here in this case. So you can have a leading border like uh, in quotes which we have introduced in the previous version of NoPlan. The border radius, if you have a background, to have a rounded border. And then you can mark it as inline border and so on. You can read the comments here in detail on this website. And if you scroll down, you can also find one section called change lock. Let me open this. And in change lock, you can see the new styles which, which were added in this version and what you have to do or what you have to add to your custom theme if you have customized it before this version was available. So you can see, you can copy the flagged styles directly into your theme, the working on, highlighted, strike through and underline. And the new key value attributes are explained here again. And a couple of examples. Um, this is like the source code basically for highlighted. We can use uh, regular expressions. So with these regular expressions, uh, which is basically some kind of code to match a text pattern. In this case, it is the equal equal before and after the word. Uh, you can take this, for example, and modify the equal equal uh, to something else like colon colon or uh, dollar dollar or and and or something else. Change the colors, change the values and then copy this or edit it directly in your custom theme file and add different colors this way. So this is the example for the flagged style. If you don't want to uh, have, uh, if you don't want to highlight specific words, but you want to highlight the complete line, you can also use this as an example and modify it. And below you can see um, other change logs from previous versions. Okay, this is basically how you can customize your theme. Um, I recommend to read through the documentation and then you can jump into the Discord community and also ask more questions there and share your um, themes there if you have a new one. And if you have more questions, you can also write them down in the comments. So I hope you like this video and that you learned something new and we see each other in the next video.